Hello everyone. Now in this video, we will start learning about freely falling body. As in our previous video, we have started motion under gravity and its introduction about acceleration due to gravity, right? So now we will see about freely falling body in detail. Clear? So let us start with the diagram and observe what are all terms were included in this, and let us see some few expressions and derivation part like what are the important terms are there in this. freely falling body concept say a particle is falling freely i mean let me say you can say dropped particle is dropped from certain height on to the ground okay like this a body is dropped from certain height on to the ground in this manner done so as we said that body is dropped right so therefore its initial velocity the particles initial velocity will be you can guess it yes zero right so initial velocity is zero you can say directly now already we said as particle is moving down due to acceleration due to gravity or like nothing but gravitational pull of earth the velocity of the particle increases as it moves down and thus what did we consider acceleration due to gravity or acceleration possessed by the body is a and is treated as acceleration due to gravity and as change in velocity is positive so therefore it is considered as plus g as it is moving down done so therefore in this we can say at a time interval t we can find out the velocity right so velocity at a time t we can find out easily and at the same time velocity on reaching the ground or just before it touches the ground also we can just calculate perfectly and say what did we say that it is being dropped from a height h it is being dropped from a height h where its initial velocity is zero so therefore during its journey at a time t something we can even calculate some the displacement covered by the body that we can call it as h so for time being i would like to take this capital h then this one as small h is that clear so now back it taking into all these considerations let us write our conclusions about object falling freely or freely falling body so see here for a freely falling body if it is been dropped initial velocity will be zero so it is given by u that is zero i am writing in bracket it is dropped now you can say sir what if not dropped yes what if not dropped if it is thrown definitely it is going to have some initial velocity u whatever with which velocity it is been thrown right so final velocity so final velocity so you can just consider it as just v at any time t directly and then acceleration acceleration we said that acceleration possessed by a body under influence of earth gravitational pull is called as acceleration due to gravity and also we say that as it is moving down so acceleration is given by plus acceleration due to gravity straight away and then what you were having the next one displacement covered so uh, this is displacement covered in horizontal we will be considering here also there is some displacement that is in vertical motion so therefore we can say height covered displacement can covered can be considered as height covered and this is nothing but h and this is nothing but straight away h is that okay so these all are your some uh, parameters you can say and also everything happens in a time interval something let me suppose some time t done so as we have seen equations of motion for a particle moving under i mean like uniform acceleration so here also we observed that acceleration due to gravity g is constant right at a given place g is fixed at different places g is changed even though at a given place g is fixed it means it is said to be uniform only so therefore freely falling body is also under uniform accelerated motion so therefore we can even apply our equations of motion to a particle moving 
under gravity or falling under gravity so let us see those equations of motion also in detail for a body under freely falling condition so what is the first one velocity after a time t right so that is we considered as v is equals to u plus at so if you substitute v is equals to 0 plus acceleration is nothing but acceleration due to gravity g and into time t so therefore straight away you can say v is equals to g t so with this formula you can easily calculate the velocity at a given time interval t so you can say straight away one after one we will do these things okay the second expression or equation you can say is s is equals to ut plus half a t square so what is this displacement covered here it is nothing but height covered straight away so h is equal as u is 0 u into t also will be 0 plus half into acceleration is acceleration due to gravity and that is plus so half g t square so thus we have height covered or height traveled or it went down how much whatever it is in a given time t interval h is equals to half g t square straight away okay so like this we can even calculate the height covered by the particle during its freely falling case and the third one v square minus u square is equals to 2as just to substitute so v square minus 0 square is equals to 2gh so thus third equation of motion is v square is equals to 2gh so like this we can say the three equations of motion straight away and then the fourth one is displacement covered in nth second we have sn that is u plus a into n minus 1 by 2 so if i could change this one as it will be hn height covered in nth second of a freely falling condition is given by g into n minus 1 by 2 g into n minus 1 by 2 so these are your four equations of motion which are applicable for a particle which is moving under gravity and having uniform acceleration called acceleration due to gravity and now what did we say here during a particle falling under gravity so now the total time taken by the particle to reach the ground let me suppose see this one here say this one be some time of descent td you can say straight away what is this time of descent td and now it has been falling down so therefore you can even have the velocity on or just before touching the ground condition also we can say that is v so let us know the expressions for these two things also straight away over here so what is the thing we are going to learn now time of descent very good so time of descent so what is this time of descent let us define it in detail clearly for us so the time taken by the particle okay so time taken by particle the time taken by the particle to reach ground time taken by particle to reach ground from a height h from a height h is called time of descent is called time of descent so denoted by t suffix d so let us take this condition here we are already having the equations of motion right so from second equation of motion from second equation of motion straight away we will do this problem clearly so from second equation of motion what is height or height covered whatever it is nothing but h only which is given by formula half g t square so now where h is equal to that is the maximum height from where which it has been dropped and t is here considered as time of descent td so therefore h is equals to half into g into 
td whole square so from which i will get time of descent is equal to under root 2 h upon g is that clear so h is nothing but height from the object is been dropped height from object is dropped and g already we know that it is the acceleration due to gravity and that is 9.8 meter per second square and sometimes approximately we will say 10 meter per second square also Be depending upon our problem and all given conditions you can just even substitute either 9.8 or 10 meter per second square for the value of g so now let us see the next condition also here one more case we are having the things right so that is velocity of the particle just before touching the ground okay velocity of particle just before reaching the ground or touching the ground just before touching the ground just before touching the ground so the same thing right so already we have equation number 3 third equation of motion or just before we have calculated everything that also we can say so velocity of particle just before touching the ground so from third equation of motion straight away we can say from third equation of motion directly so let us do this one now so from third equation so v square minus u square is equals to 2 gh where h is the height from which the object is dropped So as u is zero, so you will get v square is equals to two g h from v is equals to root two g h. So h is the height from which the object is being dropped, and then g is the acceleration due to gravity. Clear? So these are some exceptions or like derivations or expressions in freely falling. And after learning uh, body projected vertically upwards, we will see some more conclusions in this, and we will start doing the problems on this. And there will be one more third condition that is projection of the particle from a top of a tower. So the three topics are done. Then we can say that motion under gravity topic was set to be done straight away. So hope you understood. If any small doubt is there, please feel free to ask in your comment sections. So thank you. Have a great day, everyone.